Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Catch Up and today, today, <laughs> we have an extraordinary guest. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, I'm awesome, I tell myself. <laughs> I hope I'm speaking loudly, you know? Yeah. I hope so. Mm. You know what? Project your voice to be safe. Mm. So I know you as Dianne Mailer. Yes. That's all I am. Yes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what graduation class were you in? 1992. 1992. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So I always start by saying, give us like a high level 30 second update on what you've done since you've graduated from Manning till now. High level milestones. Mm. Mm. Went to UE mm -hmm. twice, taught here at Manning's for a year, which was very good, and uh, went into law, and I'm practicing law now. Yes. That's it. Do you enjoy it? I do. Okay. So you're located here? I'm right here in this beautiful parish, <laughs> right at home. <laughs> so what do you do for fun? Wow. I go to church. You can go to church for fun. I go to church. <laughs> Um, yeah, were you reading my mind? I said, I was like, did she say church? Did she say, yeah, and a, a party here or there. I enjoy dancing. Still I do. I tell myself I can dance. I still see you and Patrick Watt. Yes, we dance. Oh yeah. my gosh, you guys mm. did some things that my. The Lombarda when I was Yes, 16. yes, <laughs> it's still a staple thing. Mm. Oh my and goodness. The gym. I go to the gym. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to take a look back on your favorites. We're going to talk about favorite teacher, subject, and memories. Who was your favorite teacher? It's hot, by the way, guys. We are here sweating. Jeez. My favorite teacher. Hmm. I can't tell you who my favorite teacher was not, but. <laughs> uh, my favorite teacher. Mm. Nobody pops out. Mm -mm. No. Mm. What about subjects? Hmm. English literature. Okay, Mrs. Lawrence was my favorite teacher. Yes. She was from India. Yes. And she was only here for a few years. And uh, she taught me history. She was good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you like English literature. I can't relate. Give me math any day, man. Oh, yeah? Yes, because it's not based on anybody's opinion, wrong or right. Mm -hmm. English mm -hmm. languages. Too subjective. Too subjective. And we used to give little trouble. So the English teacher not like me. Really? <laughs> You get an F. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is Carnegie. I don't know if you ever heard of her. Mm -hmm. She she was a doctor's wife, but she used to teach English here as well. She was one of my favorites, now that I think back. Yes. But what she would do is she would use her red pen and she would actually correct every mistake you make in an essay. Yes. Everyone. And it was good learning. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so at least you know why you, you got your grade. Yes. And mm. if you had a spelling error, she would put SP over it if it was not punctuation mark she'd put another thing for it but you would know yes so then you would improve and then when i taught here i did that too yeah so your book would look like a coloring book as <laughs> <laughs> me as me as me from yes. the and that's oh, me oh lord memories so when you mm. look back on your manning school days which memories make you go mm, that was some good times dancing on stage yes yeah yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> that was the best time of manning's for me dancing okay. yeah so how would you describe your personality back in high school what words come to mind <laughs> you ever heard the word no <laughs> <laughs> no i think i was a, a lot to be around i had this personality which i still have where i'm always involved always trying to do something always you know in things the ups <laughs> no fun <and> ups <laughs> how you, so what words come to mind today mm. when you describe yourself today mm, today i'm more about service i'm more about helping i do a lot of charitable work with the rotary club yes which i'm a big part of so is your father yeah so um that's that's very good uh that's my main focus now if you are living and you can't help doesn't make sense so that's my aim i want to help as i go along and it's in my practice as well when i the people's problems, they weigh on me. And when they come to me, I say to them, you don't have to worry anymore because you've brought the problem to me. It's Aww. my job. So I take on their issues and I deal with it. And that's what I'm about now. That's what's aging me so rapidly. Can I tell you something? <laughs> so I came yesterday and I guess I looked very different. And then I, I drive up and to the guard gate. And I said, hey, 
I'm here to do another interview. I just have one more left at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I come? And she's like, I don't remember you. And I said, yes, I was here. And I talked to you about Miss Bailey. And I said, I'm, and she said, who are you going to interview? And I said, a past student, former head girl. And she's like, what's her name? Mm -hmm. And I said, Dion Miller. She said, and her face lit up. My lawyer. <laughs> Door open. <laughs> you should see Ooh. the look on the guardy face mm -hmm. when I mentioned your name. Well, I live good with people, you know. I live good with people. I know that she's out there all day working. So if I come here and I see her, I just say, have a nice day. <laughs> and I touch her or something. You must always give people something because oh they my need gosh. it. So it's her birthday. Miss me, love my birthday. Enjoy your birthday, <laughs> my girl. <laughs> so I just want you to know, man, the impact you are making. Mm. I wish I had the camera to show you her face when, when I said uh. your name and the gate just fly open mm -hmm. so tell me about something that you used to believe about yourself mm. that through the years it has changed wow well, you? Well, you know i i think i had self-esteem issues because when i was coming to mannings i don't know if you, you know about raising legs no you know what when mosquito bite up your legs and they get spotty yes i know that all right so it's raising legs and you have all these little spots <laughs> <laughs> so coming to Mannings from South Primary, yeah, South Primary, I had a, and I was a very fat. I don't know if you remember me. That, I had shape, but I was fat. Yeah. So oh. I remember you dancing on stage with Patrick Watt. And it didn't hold me back. The fat, I was a fat, sexy girl. It never <laughs> hold me back. But I had the issues, issues in the back of my mind about what I looked like and how I perceived myself. And although I was pushing through it, you know, it was always still there. But, no, you know, I just live life one day at a time now. So I don't hold any self-esteem matters over me anymore. Yes. I am where I want to be, and I'm working, I'm living, I have two beautiful children. I'm good. God is good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give your younger self? Be happier. Be happier. When I was young, I was happy, but I could have been happier. Yes. Yeah, to me, my childhood is a blur. You know, it, it just came and went, and I didn't live in the moment or the moments. So I would slow down my childhood and really try to be happier. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I said, Daddy, Dion is busy. <laughs> and he Daddy, said, Daddy, ask. And Daddy. I said, there's no way they can fit me in the day before, like literally. And he said, Ask. Ask. That is daddy. But when you say daddy to you, you get my attention. So I tell him it's him. <laughs> and, and my daddy is something else, man. Because <laughs> I know I've done, inter I've done interviews and I said, look here, no. Uh, yes. And I'm not showing up for them too, so. Yes. You're special. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so this is a question I ask everyone. Mm. Um, walk us through one of the most challenging seasons of your life. <laughs> And what did you learn about yourself? Whoa. I learned that I have a strength that just comes from deep within. Uh, I learned how to persevere and push through and hold my head up no matter what. So what would I... I've been through so many challenges. Give us one. Oh my God. Because the reason... So the, one of the purposes of Catch Up is yes. for people to... They look at you and they make assumptions. Mm -hmm. And sometimes also they're going through some challenging stuff and they feel like it's only them. Mm -hmm. And I want through the catch up series, people to realize that Dion has been through this mm -hmm. and so can you. I think that what I've been through is quite public though. Don't you know what you all know? Well, no. <laughs> um, can I be frank? Yes. I don't know. You don't know. I've well, been in the US now for a while. Mm. In 2013, I think that was the uh, roughest year in my life. I it don't Yes, I don't think I would want to go through that ever again or wish that on my worst enemy. But um, I had some problem with... Well, I can't tell you what happened. Yeah, because I my don't know. My office, in my office, somebody, and we all know who that somebody is. You might still not know. I don't know. But somebody I, very, blank who I thought would be very near and dear to me and would protect me, decided that uh, because I wanted to change my lifestyle, stop being that person, stop being married, because I was married. Did you know that? I was married for a while. 
for more than 10 years or yes. just about 10 yeah and um it was time to move on but uh my office an illegal firearm was planted in there as well as uh, what you call lead sheets behind this huge cabinet uh in there and my entire office was taken into custody by the police all of the staff including myself uh and that was really rough it had the potential to destroy everything i had worked for and um Eventually, we had to go through the whole trial. I did two weeks of trial in the gun court as an accused person. I would go today and stand up and represent a man behind me and then go and sit in the same dock to, be, to answer to a charge. And it was really rough. But, you know, with the help of many persons and through God. And the truth uh, that came to an end. And so my life continued. I tried to pick up from where I left off. I never stopped practicing. And I guess that was a blessing in itself. And I picked up the pieces. I moved on. And here I am today still moving on. So yeah, I've been through. I have goosebumps, man. <laughs> this was not one of yes. you might, I don't know. I didn't know. Yes, I, mm. I was totally out of mm, the loop and mm. I've been traveling every two years my family moves mm. I'm kind of disconnected mm. um, and that kind of I am very disconnected from yeah the local stuff yeah thank you for sharing that mm -hmm. what is the best advice you've ever received from someone else or something outside of you mm. trust God yes yes trust God trust him to take you through whatever you're going through trust him yeah what does success mean to you? Mm, it means giving back. It means helping. And it means smiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it means to me, you know. Every day is a new day and I wake up being thankful that I have it. I be, I'm thankful for all the experiences I've had, the good and the bad, because I'm still alive. Yes. And I'm happy that I'm still alive. And through me, if anybody knows me and they see me and they say, you know, the young male did this, the young male did that, and the young male is still standing. The young male has been through this and been through that, and she's still standing, then they can too. So I want to motivate you quietly, motivate you publicly. I'm still fun loving, and I'm, I'm still a Facebooker, and success is just living. Yes. Mm -hmm. living. Can I tell you that you, you beam, you glow? Mm. Just when you step out the car, I was like, wow. <sighs> <laughs> you just have this glow about you man mm. oh my goodness what are you most proud of my children my children i have two beautiful children a boy and a girl yes uh, the girl she's in the ati thing now i just went to see her yes and this, my son is in holiday in uh, florida with his uncle but my children you know I wake up every day thankful that I have them. I regret not having more, <laughs> but I'm thankful for the two. Yeah. At the end of your life, mm -hmm. what do you want people to remember about you? <laughs> when you come to my funeral, sing and dance. Remember that I tried to do good. Remember that I always had good intentions. Remember, say me, Dion, now have no bad mind. <laughs> <laughs> I wish well for everybody and I try. I really just try. Everything I do, I try. I, I give a hundred percent to everything. Yes. Yeah, so remember that. Yeah. Thank you so much <laughs> for participating. You were my surprise on this trip. Hmm. Thank you. More and, than <laughs> <laughs> and with that i'm going to close the episode yes. guys thank you so much for joining us today please like our videos share our videos subscribe to our youtube channel to catch up with your schoolmates and your former teachers and have a fantastic and blessed day bye bye that's it all right <laughs>